Okay, good stuff. We are in our Thrive Architect plugin, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut everything down again and walk you through the process one more time of how to log into your WordPress dashboard because that's very important. And I just want to make sure you got it. Okay, so you just woke up. You want to go work on your website. You're going to go to your browser. What are you going to type in again? Your domain name. In my case, it's youthministryideas.org. Then what goes after that? Forward slash. Then what? WP-admin. Then you hit enter. And it's going to ask you for username and password. You click log in. Okay, now we want to go to the page we want to edit. So we want to edit our front page. We're going to click edit with Thrive Architect. And right now we're going to add a background image. Okay, so let's go ahead. And what we're going to do in order to add the image, you're going to click background section. So let's click that. And now see how it popped up over here? Or you can drag it also. Whatever you feel, you can click and drag it. Now we're going to click in that section. Whatever section you want to edit, you want to click it. Okay, so when you click it, it changes and it gives you options here. So we're going to go to background style. Okay, you got solid color, image, uh, gradient, pattern, or background effects. We're going to add an image. So I'm going to go to choose image. And I'm going to go get a file from my computer. So let's see which one I'm going to use. I'm going to go here and maybe I'll use, let me see, which one can I use? Okay, let me see, I'll use, I'm going to go here, let's go get a picture for, let me see, website, and I'll grab this one, okay? So when you click the image, it's going to upload, and whatever image you choose, it will be your background image. So let's see what we got. It's taking a little time to upload because it's a pretty big image. And one thing you want to make sure is when you upload your image, come down here and make sure it says full size. Because if not, then it's going to be pixelated on you. Okay, so just go ahead and insert your image. And there you go. There's your image. Now, to, and we're going to hit apply. And you want to make it where it's visible. See where it's not really visible? So you're going to go to... Uh, where are we at? Let me see. You go to section options and see where it says section minimum height. You just pull that down. Come on, somebody. Now you got a nice little image for your background. Go ahead and click save. And now when we preview our page, you hit preview. You go down to the bottom left, click preview. And that's how your website's looking right now. Okay, let's go to the next lecture.